so loud. Ah. The only song I don't like in this is the ma world map. Hey, Banjo, stop it. Actually, the only piece of music I haven't liked so far across these two games is the that weird spooky wind music. It's just oh, I can stand on that. Thank fuck. But now I don't want to go after that. What the? Oh, there you go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hmm. Aren't you a might puny to go up against Ganon? I'll do what all this right. voice? That's the spirit. Bring some hand you spore if you want a bit more punch. That's the same voice as the weird little wizard from the last game that was definitely a guy. Hmm. Aren't you a might puny to go up Froze against magic. Ganon? I'll do all right. I'll do all right. Aren't you weak? No. Okay, froze magic. Can you forest? I feel like the person that composed the soundtrack was not told what game they were making it for. They were just like, make music. What do you mean, make music? I don't know, just like make some music for me. Do you have like a theme in mind? I don't know, just make some music. <laughs> they do look like little, they look like little like sentient Darth Vader helmets. But like kind of cute, you know? How does that work? That transition doesn't make any sense. How did how does that link to there? Princess Zelda, do you have any Arpagos feathers? No, I don't. Is that the fungus? I didn't get to read that. I think that might have been the fungus. That the guy wanted to give me a bit more punch. I did have an egg. I don't have any feathers, though. Greetings! Greetings, Zelda! There's a lot of running through the same areas in this as you pick up something, realize that that thing is no, no, is, is completely useless to you where you were, and you have to go back. You're like, ah, now I can go here, and great, now I'm fine. Fantastic. Froze magic. Stop throwing your magic around. No. Bring light into my lair. You must die. I'm assuming that's this game. I was, I was waiting for that line in the last one. Great! 
Oh shit. Wow, we got the power to go early, man. We're gonna be so strong, man. Hey, you just took you just took my glove and threw it away. I can't remember what I did. I I, I can't believe it was a rock in there. Could we be the guy in there? What was in here? Everyone ran. Oh yeah, she wanted the. She wants the fairy, does. Okay, well we can save the fisherman from the from here. There's somewhere else where there was a rock as well, and I. There was like two. There were two areas where there was a rock in my way, and I can't remember the other one. Yeah, he took my glove. Hey, give me your glove. Hey, you just set my glove on fire. <laughs> Don't trust random people to do to solve your problems for you. You gotta solve them yourself. I'm just trying to teach you a lesson. <laughs> nice jump over the. Thanks. The tower. Oh, the tower, yeah, 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 that was the one, that was the one, that was the one, that was the one. Okie dokie. Thanks, you saved me. Fuck That's out, the man. last time I'm going fishing. See you in Cicado. Bye. The last time I'm going fishing. See you in Chicago. <laughs> Stop making them be like in my face every time. Ah. That's a weird room. Why is this a why is that a room? Weird area this is. Yeah, that was the opposite of what normally happens. Normally they start far away and then zoom in closer. That one was. Start, far, start close, get away. Oh dear, Wizrobe has captured Lady Alma. Oh no, who's I'm not that? afraid of you. Ha! Then wait here until you are. <laughs> okay, then stay here until you do get scared of me. <laughs> What is this? This is a game from 1993 called Wand of Gam Gamelon. It is a very weird Zelda game. Oh, you son of a bitch. Certified banger. Oh. Rope? <gasps> Holy shit. This game's already used the rope more than the last game. Oh, 
stuff on that. So a lot of empty rooms in here. Oh, oh there we go. Ah. 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 what I need to be at here right now. Yeah. Alright. You have to bail on this one. I don't have what I need. I also need to go buy more ropes now. I've run out of ropes. I need a new belt. sword <laughs> well at least this time we didn't get it from a random guy who was like you're pretty good here I have this that might be the weirdest way I've ever received anything in a game ever like was that guy's was that guy's whole thing was he just like did he just like hang out in that room and then like see if people knew that the crab was actually a goma, and if they did, then he'd give him the sword. That was his like that was his whole test. I'm here to test you on your knowledge. If you don't know that this is an agoma, you can't be you can't wield the power sword. Alright, so she What does she want? Isn't it lovely? Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the one that wants the Fairy dust. Okay, so I'm guessing we get the we go to the fairy pool to get the fairy dust. Double check. We can't uh, enter here still. Oh, we can now. Oh, this is the fisherman. What? The fisherman also slash a smith? Look, I got a new job. Hey, bring a heat crystal. I'll fix up your sword. Look, I got a new job. I just walked into here and I, there was no one else. So I, 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 it's my job now. It's my job. That's how, that's how jobs work, right? I didn't like miss a feather around here then, did I? I got a new job! I did I did like how he immediately like explained why he is why the fisherman was smithing. Like that that, that I appreciate, you know. They knew that you'd be like, wait a minute. You said this guy. What? Like, here's my. Here's the real question. 
here's the here's the real question, right? Why not say the Smithy is trapped inside of the skull? And then you save the Smithy and he's back in town smithing. Why? Why have him be a fisherman who <laughs> when you save him just walks into the smithy and says, I got a new job. Why not just have him be the smith in the first place? Making it far less confusing for the player because the, the player will then know to go to the smith shop. Because, oh, I saved the smith so I can go to the smith shop now. Not... Why would the smith be in a skull? I don't know, say a monster kidnapped him or something. There's monsters all over town. A monster kidnapped the smithy, you know? Why was the fisherman inside of a skull? I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't even an area where he could fish. He was in a fucking desert. Like if we have frogs and the fountain of life. Oh, geez, look at these. Look at these. Look at these. We have made look at these boobies. Jesus. Let's bring the darkness down. <laughs> oh, they literally brung the darkness down. I love how they just they just explode into nothingness. Man, look at those honkers, Jesus. What's, why is it dark in here? It's it's not inside. I don't understand. Oh, because they brought the darkness down. But they're gone now. It shouldn't be dark anymore. We're free. You saved us. Oh my god, it's the same animation. Here's a life heart. It's literally There's the same. It's the dust. same animation from a different Add angle. Some wire of life. Wow, they give me everything. Sure, you want me to have all this? This is a lot of stuff. Gobby and shit. Got the fairy dust to give this lady. Oh, good. There. Now you can sneak up and give a monster a good shot before he sees you. Sees you. A good shot. I like how it said she clapped, and then in the in the in the subtitles it said fairy dust disappears. <laughs> Interesting. This was an actual game made, not by Nintendo, but um, it's not a fan game. No, this was a this was a game made for on um, Philips CDI, licensed by Nintendo in 1993. It is uh, it's out there. But it is like it is a game. You know, it's it's a it's a. It's not a fan-made game, it was an actual game released for money to play on a console, which is mad to think. But it's super duper weird, and it's really fucking loud.